I'm going to do something a little unusual here. This is going to be a review of the MK802 by One More, which is a Bluetooth headphone. Very similar to the MK801, except this one has, uh, besides Bluetooth, it has a uh, three-way bass switch on it. And I'm going to do this video handheld because, uh, well, for one, I don't have a tripod with me, but for two, I need a little more space. There's a hurricane outside where uh, that's my only good light, and so on and so forth. So anyway, here we go. We take off this outer sleeve right here, and we see, what do we have on here? Aptex and so on. And let's get to the box, which looks like this. Very nice box. Opens up. Uh, uh, a lot of premium headphones. I think this headphone only retails for $200, which is uh, uh, which would be good for any Bluetooth, but for a, a, a very high quality Bluetooth, it sounds really great. Uh, not so much. In fact, I'm wearing the headphone, and the headphone is here. And the first thing I want to look at here is my three position bass switch here. I'm sure we can see that. Right there, bass plus, minus, and whatever. I got mine in the middle. I'm going to show you a curve of what the sound looks like uh, with that switch in the middle. Uh, on the uh, plus side, it's going to have a lot more bass. On the minus side, it's going to be very lean. Some people like lean. Some people like the heavy bass. The heavy bass would be more resembling of the uh, MK801, which had a very strong bass. Uh, the sound of this headphone, uh, I have to tell you right now, it's pretty darn close to neutral. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic sound. It's a great sound. For a flagship headphone an unbelievable sound for $200 even more unbelievable for $200 and it's Bluetooth and the Bluetooth uh, is interference free over at least 30 feet uh, and uh, the Bluetooth is not only clean it, uh, there's no adverse effect on the sound I mean the sound is is really terrific they made improvements in the sound over the MK801 and they made improvements in the comfort. I mentioned on the MK801 how the uh, ear cups tended to fit on my head. Not not like this, where they're slanted inward, but uh, more like, let's see if I can do this somewhere else here. Um, um, more like where the ear cups are slanted a little outward like that uh, on the head uh, because their uh, headband is stretched. But this one here, does that fit better? These are very soft and very squishy ear pads, so they're amazing ear pads. Uh, now the inside has room enough for my ears, but uh, they uh, people with large ears may not fit inside these ear pads, so you may have to look for other ear pads. I don't know what the deal is on that. I know when we had the uh, Vimoda headphones, we uh, managed to get a larger ear pad for that XL. So I'll just have to wait and see what happens on that. But anyway, for average size ears, whatever, no problem at all. Very, very comfortable. There is uh, this little hole down here. Is our headphone jack in case you want to go wired. And uh, if you have a narrow sleeve on your uh, 3.5 millimeter cable, you can use any generic 3.5 to 3.5 cable wired. You wouldn't have to have a uh, custom, you know, customized to one more. And uh, that is 3.5. Okay, here's our controls on the side, and you'll see we have on off at the top that button. We have the signal light, the red light, uh, right down to the next to the top button. Then we have, of course, uh, volume up, down, stop, and at the bottom we have um, what is that thing at the bottom? It looks like I don't know. It's some kind of a, let's see what the symbol looks like here. Can we see that? Mm, symbol? Got already. Well, I don't know. The base switch is on the other ear cup. And, uh, might have something to do with, uh, some kind of DSP that's built in. I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, we'll figure it out later. Make a note on that on the uh, video when it's posted. Here we have a pretty good range of adjustment on the ear cups. Looks like about an inch and a quarter there on each side. 
and uh, since it's a single side when you go wired, of course you got your cables going uh, crossways through the head band to, to feed each air cup. So uh, this is mostly metal, the air cups are metal, and um, weight, oh I don't know, I'm going to say this weight is about average for a full size headphone and maybe average or less for a full size Bluetooth headphone. So, uh, not heavy, but it's significant enough that if you're not an experienced headphone user, you may you may have to uh, sit still so you can get used to the weight, not uh, move your head around a lot. Got a nice uh, bit of padding on the underside of the headband here. And uh, the ear cups are clearly marked left, right on the inside. Yeah, is there anything we missed on here? Now that uh, down here at, uh, is the uh, micro USB port, that's a standard micro USB. Charges up pretty quick, my experience two, two and a half hours. Uh, how long it lasts, I don't know, but I ran it for several days, a couple hours at a time, and uh, didn't run out of juice. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a wild guess, maybe 12 hours. And I think it depends on how loud you play it also. But uh, that's quite a machine. $200 is uh, pretty amazing. And, and remember, that's a, a good implementation of Bluetooth. It's physically very good with good, great comfort. And uh, the sound is really excellent. Oh, by the way, since I'm filming this with my iPhone and the curve I talked about was on my iPhone. I cannot show that, but it'll be on my website. And uh, that curve is going to show a little emphasis in, uh, I guess, what you call the lower mids around uh, five, six hundred hertz, maybe three decibels. It's going to show. Uh, depends on where you set your bass switch, whether it's a recess in the bass or an emphasis, uh, pretty flat in the middle. And then the highs, there's uh, plus or minus three between uh, around nine kilohertz to 11 kilohertz, which is pretty typical of most headphones. And I think it probably has to do with the size of the ear cups. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm saying about plus or minus three, and that's with you know comparisons to lots and lots of different headphones, premium headphones. So um, I think that's going to be pretty reliable. I forget the measurements, this thing's going to be neutral within plus or minus three, and the sound is just phenomenal. It's, it's really, really good. And there's good detail there, too. Lots of that uh, extended sparkle up top. So, great headphone. And uh, here's the bottom part of the box, which, uh, let's see if we can see that here. Yeah, there we go, okay. The headphone fits in that box. And uh, over here we had a, a carry bag. Which is pretty common with headphones that will protect from dust, dirt, things like that. And it does say one more on there. A little bit hard to see. There it goes. And uh, that's a heavy, uh, heavy cloth bag. Now, what else do we have here? We have booklets and so on. It tells you all about one more. And, and warranty registration and so on. And, uh, you know, back to the outside. Of, oh, here I almost forgot. Here we have the. Uh, little accessory box it's on the end and uh, this is where you should have a cable ah there we go nice red for the red headphone we have a red uh, cable for um, you know for running wired but like I said you can use the generic mini plug this one has the extra connector for the uh, controls I'm going wired down here we have the um, cable charging cable, micro USB and so on. So anyway, you know, with these portable chargers like we have today, and uh, uh, for example, uh, I might mention this real quick in case you're ever worried about running out of power. And let's get this out of the little bag right here and show you. This is called Mophie. And with Mophie, uh, you've got enough juice in here in this little flat pack to charge uh, cell phone three times over so there's enough in here to charge that headphone probably six times over and that's uh, the Mophie pack and there are plenty of other battery packs I got small ones so um, there we go there's my uh, quick look at the uh, 
one more that's numeric one M O R E M K eight zero two and uh, wow it's like a premium headphone for only 200 bucks and Bluetooth and all that outstanding thank you very much